hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to fix field does not exist error in Odoo so the field does not exist error in Odoo will be common error for the Odoo developers and most of the people will know the reason about that so the error will be thrown either when we when we are not defining a field in the Python and when we are using it inside the XML or if I in that case in that case the field does not exist error will be thrown so even though we have done it correctly when we are adding new fields to a particular models like rust.partner or rust.users you will be getting this error even though you define the field in the corresponding model and when you just come to the ui you will be getting internal server error so in this video we will be seeing how we can solve that issue so Currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 12 community edition and the same solution can be applied in all the Odoo versions. So if I just refresh the screen you can see there is no errors and if I go to the PyCharm and here we have the OM hospital module. So if I go to the custom folder and if I expand or if I scroll down this is the OM hospital module and we have a file called patient.py file. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be inheriting. So the module has been already installed in the database. So if I go to the apps menu you can see the Odoo development tutorial. So this module has been already installed in this database. So what I'll be doing is that just you can see i have inherited rs.partner model and added a field called patient name of type care so just i have commented the code it was commented now i have removed the comments and what i will be doing is that i'll be just refresh or instead of restarting i just noted now i have a already i have a model here so control x and i'll be putting it here and just i'll be removing this class so what i have to do is that I have just inherited rs.partner and added a new field here called patient name and just now I will be restarting the Odoo service. So the service has been restarted. So we have done everything correctly. We have inherited the model and added a field of type care. Now we will be going into the UI and if you just refresh the screen you will be getting internal server error. And if you check the log, you will be seeing that undefined column rust.partner patient.name does not exist. But we have already defined here. So once you add a field to this model that is rust.partner or rust.users, you will be facing this issue if the corresponding module is already installed in the database. So you can see we are getting the field does not exist error. So I'll be commenting this code. So I have just commented the added field and I'll be restarting the service and if I refresh the screen you will not be having that error. So right now there is no error and what if I uninstall this module. So I'll be just uninstalling this module that is auto development tutorials. I'll be just uninstalling the module. So when we in then when the module has been already installed and when we are adding fields to rust.partner we will be getting error. So right now that module is uninstalled in the database and what if I have removed this comment patient node name and if I restart the service and if I reload the screen there will not be internal server error so right now there is no internal server error and if I comment this code that is I have commented patient name that is we are not going to add this field and I'll be moving this to install which was initially the module was install state so I'll be installing the module without adding the new field to Restored partner so the module has been installed now and i'll be uncommenting that is i'm going to add new field that is patient name so right now if i restart the service you will be getting the field does not exist error that is in the ui it will be internal server error and when you check the log you can see restored partner name so in this case how you will be solving the problem you cannot uninstall the modules because it will leads to loss of data like in this module we will be adding different tables fields etc and there might be some case we cannot uninstall the module so a trick that you can do is that you can what you can do you can just comment the code so this is a trick just you can comment the code restart the service and refresh the screen and you can go to the apps menu and here you can see click on module info just keep the screen here that is the module you have to upgrade has to be kept open in the screen just remove the comment restart 
just directly click on upgrade so this method you can apply just keep this form open and directly click on upgrade so right now there will be no issues so this is a trick that you can use so if you are not able to do that so if i just uninstall so if let me uninstall the module once again so i'll be uninstalling the module once again so the module has been uninstalled and if i go to the apps menu i'll be doing once again i'll be commenting this field restart the service and let me upgrade the sorry let me install the module again so the one trick that i have shown already is that keep the page open the module you have to upgrade keep it open just restart the service click on update button so now i'll be uncommenting the code again restarting the service and if i refresh we'll be getting internal server error so in this case the correct solution is that so rather than using the first tip that i have shown you have to upgrade the module from the terminal so let's see how we can upgrade the module from the terminal so to upgrade the module from the terminal you have to know the database name so first of all i'll be keeping it as commented just to get the database name so i'll be restarting the service and from here you can see as the debug mode is activated i can see that database name from here that is my database name is inv underscore db so i have got the database name and the module name that i'm adding new field is om hospital so let's see how we can upgrade the module from the terminal so right now we are getting internal server error like field does not exist even though we have field so in this case we have to upgrade the module from the terminal so as i'm using um, i will not be running from here so if i or edit configuration so this is the path i can um this is the parameter of running oru so in this case i will be adding minus d so minus d i'm telling my database is in inv db and minus u the module you have to upgrade that is om hospital om hospital you can tell it here minus d database name minus u module name click on apply click on ok and just restart the service it has been not applied so i'll be closing that you can see the newly added things is not come here so i'll be deleting this and i'll be restarting from here so you can see dev xml minus d database name minus u module name so you have to upgrade the module from the terminal so the module has been upgraded and if i refresh you can see there will not be internal server error so the field has been successfully added to the table so if you get field does not exist error even though the field is defined and it will be appearing mostly in the restored partner or restored user in the case of install modules so in that case you can upgrade the module from the terminal or you can do the trick that i have shown earlier so i have already created an another video showing the other reasons so you can watch this video and also this video so that's all about this video if you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com. So that's it. Have a nice day. Thank you.